CT imaging has always played a major role in stroke imaging. In addition to non-enhanced CT imaging and CT angiography, CT perfusion imaging helps to improve the selection of different treatment options for stroke patients. The guided workflow provided by CT neuroperfusion facilitates routine 24-7 operation. It takes just five simple steps to view the core infarct and penumbra. Tissue at risk can easily be visualized in 3D color maps based on the mismatch between blood volume CBV and flow CBF or any other combination parameters. The typical clinical procedure consists of a non-contrast CT head scan for exclusion of brain hemorrhages followed by a dynamic examination performed for instance with an adaptive 4D spiral scan mode. Regarding contrast media protocol, it is plausible to start the contrast injector with a delay of 4 seconds for the adaptive 4D spiral scan, 35 mil of imomeprol, 350 injected at a flow rate of 6 mils per second, followed by a saline flush of 20 mils NACL at the same flow rate. Unlike most conventional deconvolution perfusion algorithms, the Siemens software does not need scan times as long as 60 seconds to calculate proper perfusion results, an important consideration in helping to reduce unnecessary radiation. Because of the advanced algorithms, maximum slope model and an optimized deconvolution type model is used, 45 second dynamic scans are sufficient to calculate reliable perfusion parameter maps. This movie will show you how to evaluate neuroperfusion datasets using Singovia. First make sure that the study is correctly assigned to the CT neuroperfusion workflow. Otherwise, click with the right mouse button and select Open with CT Neuroperfusion. The patient data will be opened in a layout that consists of the temporal data displayed with three MPRs at the top of the screen, a lower left segment with the temporal MIP for better assessment of the vessels, and a temporal average on the lower right segment for better assessment of the brain parenchyma. Navigation can be done in any of these segments by pressing the right mouse button and dragging the mouse vertically. Window corrections can be done by pressing the middle mouse button and dragging the mouse vertically and horizontally. To navigate through time, use the upper segments and drag the mouse horizontally while pressing the right mouse button or simply by moving the time slider. The first step of our workflow allows motion correction. Just scroll through all time points to detect a good time point with minimal motion that could be set as a reference. Notice how the small triangle changes and apply motion correction. If motion artifacts are observed in some time points, it is better to remove the corresponding points beforehand. After optional motion correction and deletion of critical time points, go to step 2 segmentation, where the 4D noise reduction can be run to reduce image noise. This is especially helpful if the data is noisy due to a protocol with low MAS. In this step, an automatic segmentation of the parenchyma is done. When switching from step 2 segmentation to step 3 vessel definition, all major vessels are detected and displayed in magneta. The reference vessel, typically the sinus sagittalis, is detected with a blue area and the arterial input voxels are marked in red. Just verify that the detection is correct. Time attenuation curves will help to determine if they are plausible. The peak of the red arterial curve should lie in front of the peaks of the blue venous curve. If any curves are not satisfactory, they can possibly be improved by manual definition. If you are satisfied with all inputs in step 3, go on to step 4, Results Preview. In this step, you can quantitatively assess the result volumes to ensure that they are adequate for further evaluation and archiving. Just make sure that the volumes that you want to proceed with are selected. 
If quantification is needed, proceed to step 5, Results. All hemodynamically relevant perfusion parameters are displayed in one of the following views, including cerebral blood flow, CBF, cerebral blood volume, CBV, mean transit time, MTT, and time to drain, TTD. More parameters can be added in the configuration dialog. The penumbra region of a cerebral infarction can be evaluated for an optimized treatment strategy including tissue at risk characterization. This mismatch is depicted in red and yellow using CBV and CBF thresholds. Currently there is no clear consensus about the threshold values. For this reason Siemens provides some flexibility in the configuration where you can choose any parameters and thresholds that you want. The recommended values for CBF and CBV are based on the attached paper. In the configuration, it is also possible to restrict the penumbra calculation to the grey matter detected automatically by our refined algorithms. To evaluate the penumbra volume quantitatively, just select the ROI tool which will display all of the values in the dedicated chart. ROI measurements will automatically be mirrored to the contralateral hemisphere. All results are conveniently collected in a report. Saving and archiving this report and the result series is as easy as completing the workflow by clicking the Save and Send button.